Hey everybody, Dave from Corso here, with special guest star of this series. Alex from Corso, in the Corso Cottage. In the Corso Cottage, I was actually going to say, we have to officially welcome everyone to the Corso Cottage. I think this is the first time any video that is fit for any sort of publication has been shot in the Corso Cottage. Or any video at all. Hopefully. But first, for Bill. Bill's gonna be so happy. Yep. So, today we are continuing our Ignition Explain series, and we're going to talk about, for most people as of this point, the mobile module, but also perspective and what perspective is going to do across the mobile everything. Did you know it's really loud outside, Alex? It is. They heard that we were going to start taping. <clears throat> We probably should wait till that truck passes. Okay. So, mobile. So right now, it's 2018. Yep. Everyone has mobile. And even in 2019, you guys are still going to have mobile and, and beyond that. So, mobile basically lets us develop and then see ignition screens and everything else on a tablet or a smartphone or something that doesn't have Java, right? Correct. Okay. And it's the same screens you developed in Vision mm -hmm. and would be the same screens you see with the senior clients and they're here and there maybe slight graphical differences mm -hmm. in terms of the way Scaling, things are displayed. Yeah. But basically it'll be the same screens with a non Java based device that, that's able to access them. Okay. And so we want mobile so that we don't have to be in front of a computer and see it. That's that's kind of the, the whole thought behind mobile. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the power of mobile in a perspective world is that you don't you're, you're not obligated to redevelop screens specifically for mobile devices. Mm -hmm. So there's a, if all you want is to be able to access your same screens on an iPad that your op operators are looking at on the plant floor, that's where you would use the mobile module. Okay. Wait, can we just okay. pause? Because yes. we'll, I normally say something to like wrap it up. Okay. If you want to be able to see things on something that is not a computer, you or mobily, you need the mobile module. I feel like the mobile module is the best named module. Mm -hmm. Okay. A couple of notes about the mobile. It does require that you're running on a operating system, you're running your gateway on an operating system with a graphical interface. We, we found that out on the hard our development server, which is running a headless Linux server on Linode. We can't get the mobile module to work without making some changes um, initially. And it spins up a Java virtual machine on the gateway computer. So if you're going to be running many mobile clients, mm -hmm. you need to have additional resources on the gateway server to make sure that you're not impacting your, your clients on the floor. Okay. Just because it, it, ha it uses different resources and, and whatnot than your typical clients do. Okay. So if you're gonna be running you know, multiple dozens or a hundred mobile modules at the same time, that would just be something to do some testing before you push that out into production. I mean, and you probably wanna have a conversation as to why you wanna run multiple hundreds of them at the same time. Yeah. But it's something that Perspective will probably fix? Yep. Because perspective changes the whole architecture of the mobile experience to a, a web-based, uh, it's based on React framework. Mm -hmm. And it's on an app, right? And they also have an app for Android and uh, iOS devices. So you can run it in a browser on any device, or you could set up a, an app for your iOS or Android devices that will also integrate with um, the sensors and GPS and things on your phone and allow your phone to be a barcode scanner as well. Cool, so what we know of Perspective and Ignition 8 is that if you're watching this in 2018 or early 2019, it's probably still in beta and not let yet launched. Mm -hmm. We're talking about launching like mid-February and then there'll be some process to, to work out all the bugs because there are always bugs. And if, so Perspective security. Yes. Mm -hmm will allow additional providers. So right now you can use Active Directory yeah. 
or the internal uh, ignition mm -hmm. provider, or you could write your own. <coughs> Perspective will allow things like OpenID and like SAML, SAML based uh, providers. Cool. Based on what we saw, we they haven't implemented that in the beta yet, but uh, that will allow some more capabilities for integrations with other uh, web platforms. So that'd be pretty cool. Awesome. Because that's something a couple people have asked for. Been good in the beta so far. No, no, it has. And we're going to talk about that. Um, we'll leave a link below about us talking about the 8.0 and perspective beta and what we know. But this is this is not that. So so perspective is going to allow us, like the royal us as developers, to come in and build better systems mm -hmm. quicker, using more yep. tools that in a web development or other d development interface would use, right? Yeah, a lot of the things that we do now, like style tags on as client tags for global style properties mm -hmm. that we kind of pull together using what we can in Ignition is built into perspective. And the, a lot of things that we typically see in the web development space that are not in Ignition, mm -hmm. like based on just the architecture. Uh, are in perspective, which will make our lives a lot easier. Okay. And I think the hard part from this moment in time is customers going from a non-perspective system to a perspective system Ooh. will require redevelopment of the screens, mm -hmm. which is what it is. Yeah, uh, but we knew this. We, we knew have that. known That's this for like 18 months. So it's just the transitional period, uh, assuming perspective does what we think it should do and what it has been doing so far in the beta, I would push just to use perspective to begin with. So yeah. then you get the, the benefits of the, the mobile from the get-go. Mm -hmm. And I haven't, we haven't done an exhaustive search of what the, the limitations of perspective versus vision would be, uh, but I don't see anything that would be a showstopper at the moment for just running everything in perspective. It's gonna be a licensing field. issue, right? Well, like yeah. it's going to be a licensing question that inductive automation is going to have to explain to us. And it's still early, and by the time you guys see this video, we might have some answers. And so, like always, reach out and ask us questions. Yeah. What well, perspective's great so far? Perspective is awesome. But no, uh, we'll probably have done a video about perspective and the beta and all that stuff, and we'll link that below. And Alex has written some great blog posts, and we'll link that below. And everything that we've built on Perspective, we will, like, show you guys. We're excited about it. Yep. Alex says that it'll do fantastic things, and so everyone should just believe everything Alex says. As we've been talking about, most of the Corso customers have mobile, because you want to be able to see it on your phone, you want to be able to see it somewhere, that you cannot run a Java application. Mm -hmm. And so, you think we can do it from memory? Because we've been, we've been listing them and we've been putting them in the videos right about here. Yep. So you've got Vision, mm -hmm. you have SQL Bridge, mm -hmm. you have Tag Historian, yep. you've got Reporting, yep. you've got Alarm Notification, mm -hmm. and all of the alarm notifications that may go with it, SMS, uh, Voice, Twilio, everything like that. And now you've got the mobile slash perspective modules, which is what we'll call this one. Mm -hmm. I didn't think we were going to get all of them. That's all. I mean, we recapped it. I know. Minutes ago. I wrote them down. I wasn't sure. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Again, it's Dave and Alex from Corso. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Alex. Do you know what all the crazy kids are asking people on YouTube to do now? Fake it. We <laughs> faked the whole video. <laughs> I was going to say smash the like button. Have you seen any of those? No, I haven't. Right? Great. Like, smash and then the like big letters at the bottom. It's like smash the like button. Is that the thumbs up button? Yeah. We ask everyone to like, but they say like. smash. Smash the like. Mm -hmm. But Alex. We should make a button. We can. So Dave and Alex from the Corso Cottage, drinking our coffee and some other stuff for Bill. Bye-bye. I'm thinking about making the back part of this video if we don't say anything ridiculous. Just you sitting there. Yeah. With my Corso systems tumbler. Better. That was...
No, that was a little longer. So it'll allow us. Shovels going on too. You should make the button rush. Uh, one other thing, since we haven't scripted any of this. We never the, script anything. 